What's up guys? My name is Dalton James, and thank you for joining me. Today I am going to play Will You Press the Button? Will I? I don't know, I like buttons. Let's let's see. Let's discover. You become a super smart robot with awesome robot powers. But you are always leaking a little bit of oil and it's really hard to clean up. I don't wanna be a robot. I'd rather be a person. I mean a cyborg? Sure. But a robot? Like Wally? I mean, Wally's cute, but hard pass. Mega hard pass. You become a hero for the entire world, Ooh. but you die with the feeling of never accomplishing anything. Hmm. How can I become a hero for the entire world? Everyone thinks I'm a hero, so everybody would be telling me how great I am, but still I die feeling unaccomplished. This is a tricky one. A hero to the world? What am I doing? The entire world likes me? What did I do? Uh, yes, I will press the button. You know what? As long as everybody else thinks I'm cool, I guess that's okay. There will be world of peace, but you will be as bored as humanly possible for the rest of your life. Do I want to be bored 100% of the time? Or world peace? World peace is such a generic answer. Like when I was in high school, people who made the yearbooks would go around and they'd be like, if you had one wish, what would you wish for? They would always be like, world peace, because I am a saint. My name is Barack Obama. But that's not possible. Diva, can you stop drinking my chocolate milk? This is Diva. She drinks my chocolate milk. Okay? She's also a really good kitty. Diva, can you get away? <sighs> getting hair everywhere. I don't know. World peace isn't. You know what? I'd rather not be bored. Sorry, losers. Could you press the button? You will have unlimited riches, but you compulsively spend it on cosplays and anime merchandise instead of stuff you need. <laughs> If you have unlimited riches, it, it really doesn't matter. So, I mean, I ain't a weeb, but yeah, I'm gonna press that button. I'll be a weeb if I can be rich, how about that? You don't have to go to school and still be really smart. Teachers will come to your house for the rest of your life and nag <laughs> you. Just lock my door, okay? Call the police on him. 911? She, yeah. Yeah, she's at my house again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, come get her. So, <laughs> just be like that. So, yeah. Shoot them if they're on your property. <laughs> Put up a fence, though. It's not that hard. Ooh, you know what everyone is thinking? Everyone knows you're listening. Ooh, that is rad. I'm gonna say yes, because that is really cool. Even though I probably get my feelings hurt a lot, if I would know what they're thinking, but they know I'm listening too. So it's not like they think they're doing it behind my back. And plus, people would be like paranoid and a little scared of me because I can always hear what they're saying. So I'll be like, shit, I hope, I hope Dalton's not listening right now. Oh no! I dropped my stress rhino. Have the ability to turn invisible. That is like one of my favorite superpowers, turning invisible. Because think of all the things you can do. You can sneak into so many places. If I wanted to go to the Real Salt Lake, I would just turn invisible. I would sneak on the planes, sneak through airports, go to concerts. Endless possibilities if you can turn invisible. But here's the thing, do I have to be naked? Oh, wait a second. I need to, I should have read the rest of this before I started telling how much I love invisibility. But only while no one is looking? What does this mean? So like, if I want to turn invisible, I have to like, go to the bathroom and make sure no one else is in there and then turn invisible or go to go inside of a closet? Or is it, if they're not looking at me, I'm invisible, but when they turn around, they can see me? Because isn't that just being visible? This question's dumb. You're dumb. I will not press you because you're dumb. You can have sex with anyone you want. STD free. You can no longer get breadsticks at Olive Garden. I'm not a fan of Olive Garden. I'm really not. Olive Garden's kind of gross, okay? Don't at me, bro, but it's disgusting. So I think, sure, why not? You can have safe sex forever. 
and I don't need it at Olive Garden anyway, so this is okay. This one's fine. This one's done. Any children you have will be extremely intelligent. <laughs> they will be really, really ugly. Well, we all know that's not even possible with how handsome I am. So, I'm gonna press it. Because they can't even be ugly because I'm so handsome. Don't you know genetics, bitch? You can smell good all the time, but everyone would stink to you. Even if they were, like, deodorant? I don't know. Maybe people would be like, hey, why do you smell so delicious? And then I'd be like, oh, I'm magic. And then I would bottle my own perfume and then make millions off of it. I am an entrepreneur. You can talk to any animal you want, but you can't talk anymore. You'll have to communicate with humans by writing notes. Just like this comment says, that humans are animals, so you just bemboozled yourself because now I don't- this doesn't even apply anymore because I can talk. Nerd. You meet your true love who will always be faithful to you. Oh. You become blind and wheelchair bound. Your true love takes care of you. No. No. I will not. No. I would rather be single for the rest of my life than be in a wheelchair and blind. Being blind is, is worse than being in a wheelchair. One of the reasons I don't ever want to get really old, like I would prefer to die at like 75. 75, come and kill me. But <laughs> I just... Don't ever want to be a burden on somebody else. I hate that feeling where I'm just a burden and they have to keep taking care of me. I mean, props to whoever this true love of mine is that would put up with this bullshit. Um, basically, I'm, I'm just a giant baby at this point. Blind and my legs don't work. You know? All I'm there is just for someone to take care of. And I feel so bad for people that actually have those disabilities. It actually makes me a little sad that they have to go through that, and I hope I don't ever have to go through that. And it's kind of scaring me because my eyes have gotten worse throughout the years. I started to notice that they were getting bad during high school. When I was in junior year, I sat in the back of the class in history, and I was like, why can't I read the board? It just looked like he had really bad markers and I couldn't see, and I also couldn't see far away very well. So then I got glasses and I was like oh my god I can see and it was just like someone flipped on HD like being in a wheelchair okay I mean that does suck but you got to keep on living man but when you're blind one of my biggest fears so I will not press this button thank you guys so much for watching that is it on will I press the button and I really hope that you enjoyed and you will subscribe and ding the dinger and you will Come back next time. What do you say? Anyway, see ya. Shotgun.